Ukrainian forces are advancing a lot three or four axes in southern Ukraine's Zaporizhia and Donetsk Oblast. On the axis running along the Mokri Yali River, the Ukrainians aren't just advancing, they're thundering. Rolling fast along the unpaved roads treating north to south from the town of the Velika Novosilka toward Makarivka, 10 miles away, the Ukrainian Navy's 35th Marine Brigade has borrowed a tactic from the U.S. Army. Colonel Eric Schwartz, who led the so-called Thunder Run, reasoned that a small, fast-moving armored force would confuse and demoralize Baghdad's Iraqi defenders and perhaps print a slow, bloody, block-by-block -block slog across the city. Schwartz was right. His battalion Thunder Run on April 1st breached Baghdad and killed potentially hundreds of Iraqi troops and paramilitars at the cost of a single American kills in action. Twenty years later, the Ukrainian uh, 35th Marine Brigade is more than a week in its own prolonged thunder run along the Mokri Yali River. In eight or nine days of hard fighting, the 2000 person brigade has liberated several villages, most recently Makarivka on Monday, Speed and Shock are key. The 35th Marine Brigade is fairly lightly equipped for a Ukrainian brigade, with dozens of ex-British Mastiffs and ex-Turkish Kirpi armored trucks and around 10 gas turbine T-80BV tanks is how the brigade is using those vehicles uh, that keys to unit shift advance. With a T-80 near the front, a column of masses rolls down the dirt road uh, that run parallel to the Mokri Yari River. The tank blast at close range any Russian position in three-person crew detects on either side of the road. If the tank has to stop to fire its uh, 125mm main gun, it does so only briefly. The tank maintains the column's momentum, leaving the 10-person Mastiffs with their 50 caliber machine guns to kill or scatter any startled Russian who survives uh, the tank fire. Infantry then dismount and secure the rear. But it's worth nothing that a thunder run only works in certain conditions. The 35th Marine Brigade is attacking along one of the more lightly fortified axes. If the Marine encountered minefields, they apparently were nothing like the defense minefields that thwarted a third attack by Ukrainian Army's 3rd Mechanized and 47th Assault Brigade. Mines aren't the only danger as the 35th Marine Brigade continues thundering south. It's not secret that Kiev is holding in reserve half a dozen or more brigades waiting to deploy them wherever the lead brigades open the widest gaps in Russian defenses. The longer the 35th Marine Brigade prolongs its thunder run, the more likely Ukrainian commanders are to send additional brigades rolling along the same axis.